Hey guys, welcome back. This is Otaku Gamer, and you're watching Let's Play Psychonauts. Now, if you missed last episode, you may be wondering why I'm in the pause screen. Here's why. That come on, come on. There we go. We're in the middle of a boss fight. <laughs> actually, I say we're in the middle, but we're actually at the beginning of a boss fight, and this is the final boss. Remember, I said how the last boss was the final boss. This is the final boss. Well, the first phase of the final boss, anyway. He's pretty similar to the first time we fought this guy. He will stomp you, though, if you get too close. And Rasputin's dad up there is throwing... Uh, juggling stuff on us. And it's flaming and all that. Um, oh, that's right. Yeah, that's how we beat him. Right, it's different from the first time we fight him. So we have to wait. There we go. Okay, and we use this. Okay, we have to wait until he stops. Ah, leave me alone. Jeez. Okay, we come over here. Ow! Use one of these and throw it at him. That did not work. Okay, come on. Come over here where there's some stuff to throw at you. Okay. You. Throw something at me. Ow. That didn't work. Okay, he has to be on the ground for you to do damage to him, which is why this boss fight is slightly difficult. Okay. I'm just gonna wait for him to do his thing. Nope. That's not it. That's it. Okay. Ow. No, no! Oh my... I was gonna throw that at him. Okay, this boss fight is tricky. It's simple in theory, but it's tricky. Ow. Okay, don't stomp on me, person. Okay, here we go. Got him that time. Alright, then you run up and you hit him. And then get hit in the process. Okay, so that's what you do. You wait for him to do the giant meat cleaver thing, like last time when we would climb up onto his shoulder. Only this time you use your telekinesis to throw one of these barbs at him. That didn't work at all because it, his cleaver was in the way. And then once you hit him with one of the barbs, his head will come down. Come on. There we go, but I need something to throw at him. That didn't work at all because... Oh, it did! It did! Okay. Once he gets hit with the barb, his head will come down and you just run up and hit it. It's that simple. But he hit me again with the stomp. Okay, I missed my chance there because I got hit. If he uses that attack on you and you get hit, then... It won't work. Yeah. Let's get close enough to the other stuff, so there we go. Thank you, Magnet. Ow. Come on, get closer. Okay, you. Hit him. That did not work. Alright, let's get away from him. I need more stuff on the ground. Thank you. That didn't work. Okay, come on. There we go. Ah! I got hit. Okay, let's get some health. This boss fight is taking longer than I thought it would. Because it's, it's, in theory, very simple. But... I'm just... I'm screwing it up. Okay, stop running. Seriously. Okay, do your... Every time I lure him into doing that, I get hit. Because I'm not moving quick enough. Okay, I'm low on health. Come here. Okay, come on, do your meat cleaver thing. That's not the meat cleaver thing I wanted you to do. Come on. There we go. Okay. Telekinesis. Oh, no, tele... <sighs> Didn't hit him fast enough. Alright, come on. It's tricky because you have to aim his cleaver and aim yourself with the stuff on the ground. It's very tricky. 
by the time you dodge out of the way, he doesn't stay down long enough for you to hit him. It's... Ah, it's very difficult. Okay, come on, this way. Now, do your meat cleaver thing. That's not... That's not the one I wanted you to... That's the one I wanted you to do. Okay. There we... No! Are you kidding me? I had that, and then they blew up on me. If you wait too long, the spikes blow up. At least they had health. Go. Okay, next one. That's not the one I wanted you to do. Do the one I want... That's it. Okay, you. Go. Got him. Okay. Finally! And he falls into the shredder. <laughs> Rasputin! I see your skull is as hard to penetrate as ever. Dad! What is your brain doing out here in this tank with this other brain? And who are all these unconscious people? What have you gotten yourself involved with, psychics? He's been cavorting with filthy, cheating psychics! Is that really... Is that really how I look in your mind? Man, do I hate psychics! And seeing my son happy. I don't hate psychics. I used my psychic connection with you to find you. And to project myself into your mind. But how can you hate me for being psychic? If you're psychic too! Son, I could never hate you. I only wanted you to be happy, Rasputin. And safe. Our family has many enemies. I have a lot more hair than that. Now, son, we have to carefully unweave your psyche from that other brain. We don't want anything bad to happen while your mind is in this tangled state. The damage could be permanent. Unweave? Detangle? Never! I like it this way. I mean, look at how huge I am! And I think I can juggle now. <laughs> This is your mind, so you are the strong one here. But I'm about to give you, my son. You must take care of it, because it's everything I've got. Giant robot fight! Well, not technically, it's actually giant cobbled together meat grinder person thing and giant psychic energy monster thing. Two-headed dad monster, that's what it's called. Alright, come on. Now, I waited too long and my psychic charge thing ran out. But you can see in the right corner, the upper right corner of the screen, there we go. It was charging up. Now when you're in this form, you cannot be hurt, and you do damage to him, and he cowers in fear. But when the meter runs out, you lose your form. And I'm probably gonna die just because I have so little health. But yeah, you lose your form and you have to wait for it to recharge. Oh good, I got some health, thank you! But yeah, once it's recharged, you regain that form and you keep beating him up. Pretty simple. But again, I, I need to not die before I do that. Other than that, it's a pretty simple boss fight, but pretty fun. I mean, come on. A final boss fight where you are basically a giant psychic monster thing? Okay, so we were a giant psychic monster thing in the Lungfishopolis level. But to be fair, we still had our body. This... We are actually made of psychic energy when it happens. And I, and I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, you get a full round of attacks on him three times and he dies. There. Problem solved.
bunnies. No, no meat. <laughs> no more. No more meat. Look. There you go. Good little bunny. <laughs> hey, thanks for helping me save the bunnies. And for talking to my dad. Uh, no problem, little Oli. Bye-bye. Wave goodbye, Mr. Bun. <laughs> Where's he going? We're separating the brains now, Rasputin. He'll be fine. Let's go inside. Man, I can't wait to tell you about all the messed up stuff that happened. Oh, I know a lot of it. While you were out, I poked around a bit. Tell me about this lily person. Hey! <laughs> and so, that brings us to the end. Where, as you can clearly see, the personal demons causing my negative behavior have all been eradicated, leaving me sane once again. This is also corroborated in catch scan number three on page 59 of your handouts. On a personal note, I would just like to reiterate how extremely, extremely sorry I am for stealing all of your brains and trying to take over the world. Mistakes have been made. But this camp is all about education. And I know I, for one, learned plenty. Thanks to that guy right there. Come on up here, Raz. We endeavor to build strong minds here, with the power to lift things, to see things, to burn things. But it's a special quality of your heart, not your mind, that truly makes a great psychonaut. This young man has it. We did not give it to him. He got it from someone else, long before he came here. But we can give him this, to honor his mind, his courage, and his heart. Son, we do not normally ask this of someone so young, but it is obvious to us all that you are not average. Will you join us, Rasputin? Will you be a psychonaut? <gasps> Summer's not over yet. We can hang out for a couple of weeks still. My family's out on the East Coast. Where's yours? They move around a lot. Hmm. Well, you'd better go. Your dad's waiting for you. Um, well... Bye. Children, it's an emergency. There's been another kidnapping. I was here the whole time. You saw me. No, this time we know who it is, and that's what scares us. Who was kidnapped? Truman Zanotto, the grand head of the Psychonauts. Dad! Sir, can you teleport this many of us back to headquarters? Huh? What? Hey, hey, what are you people doing in my kitchen? Now get! Guess we're taking the jet. Don't worry about your dad, darling. We'll get him back. Yes, after all, we'll have Rasputin helping us. I'm going? Now how could we do this without our anti-kidnapping specialist? I've taught you everything I can, son. Now, you go show them. Show them all. Let's go.
And there you have it. The end. Wasn't that a fantastic game? Oh man, I love it. Uh, and also, <laughs> the ending highly, highly hints toward a sequel that has, up until this point, never come. I don't remember how long ago this game came out. It might have been, hell, it might have even been a decade ago. I don't even know. I don't remember when this game came out. But if there was going to be a sequel, you'd think there would have been one by now. Now, I've heard, I don't remember where or when I heard this, it might have been like a year ago, that there, they might, might start working on a sequel soon, if they haven't started already. The problem was the first game didn't, for whatever reason, didn't sell enough copies and wasn't enough of a success that the company didn't want to fund it. But it's, I don't know, that hopefully they get all that settled and they can make a sequel because clearly there's other stuff waiting to happen. We have to save Lily's dad, obviously. <laughs> And I, I have no idea what would be in a sequel. I mean, that's kind of the fun of sequels, is you have no idea what's going to be in them. But anyway, <laughs> I think this has been a fantastic Let's Play, as all of them have been so far. Uh, this is one of my favorite games. I've played it a number of times. Very few games can I say that, that I've played it a number of times, and this is one of them that I can. And I had a blast recording it, and I really hope that you guys, as always, I, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And also, as always, my generic message, tell me what you guys thought. What do you want to see that's different? What do you like that you think I should keep doing and keep it the same? Let me know, because I want to keep improving. I want to keep doing stuff that'll give you guys more enjoyment. Rainbow Squirt, huh? Oh, that's right, yeah. Um, <laughs> I've been playing Binding of Isaac lately, and so I saw Rainbow Squirt, and I was like, wait a minute, isn't that an item in Binding of Isaac? No, that's Rainbow Baby. Not Rainbow Squirt. Anyway. <laughs> also, no, I do not have plans to do a Binding of Isaac L LP. Maybe one or two or three, like, exploratory episodes, but th that kind of game, for my style of Let's Play, does not lend itself to Let's Plays. Anyway, uh, I'm going to stop babbling about that and continue to focus on Psychonauts. Uh, the story... The characters, the art, the gameplay, everything about it is fantastic. And didn't we kill Coach Amara? Why is he still there? <laughs> anyway, but yeah, I love this game so much, and I hope that watching me play it has inspired some of you that have never played it before to go out and buy it. I think I've mentioned it before, but this game is on sale all the time on Steam. Every time there's a Steam sale, this game is guaranteed to be on sale. So, you have no excuse. You can probably pick it up for like two bucks. Really no excuse at all. You should go play it. It's a fantastic game. But anyway, <laughs> um, I don't know how much is left of these credits, but I'm just going to go ahead and let them play because I think I've said all that I really have to say. And so, yeah. <laughs> enjoy the credits. Enjoy these cool pictures. I think they're really cool. Um... And yeah, so thanks again so much for watching. As always, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. So, until next time, this has been Otaku Gamer. You just watched Let's Play Psychonauts, and I'll see you guys in the next game. Thank you.